In this video, we're going to talk about sealing a surface. Um, generally, between plasterboard, drywall, or a solid wall, which is undercoat plaster on brick or breeze block, and then a finished plaster on the top. The drywall or the plasterboard can actually be plastered over. Sometimes it gets left if it's been papered and you can actually cork and tape the joints, apply a sealer over the surface and then apply a textured wallpaper on top. So what I'll show you is different ways a surface can be sealed and the difference between plasterboard and a solid wall with a plastered surface with a finished plaster on it. Now what I've got is my plasterboard and there's actually a bit of damage in that as well. I'll show you how to treat that and I'll show you how to seal boards if you're going to paper over it. Also on this board which I'm going to treat as a solid wall or a plastered surface over plasterboard drywall. I've marked it out into sections. At the top we've got neat PVA versus diluted PVA. Then we've got new neat contract emulsion, then diluted contract emulsion, which is a mist coat. Here we have wallpaper paste. Now I'm going to put some paste on there, let it dry, paint over it, show you the reaction you get from that. And also bin primer which is another sealer for plaster and porous surfaces. Now, first of all, I'll put some neat PVA on this and then I'll do the diluted and we'll get these coated up and allow them to dry. So I've got my PVA here and I've got a measuring jug and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour 100 millilitres of PVA into this. Now I'm going to apply some of this uh, neat PVA to the board. And then with the rest of this PVA, I'm going to put it in 8 litres of water. I'm going to give that a good stir up and we'll coat up the next section on the board. I've washed this brush out from applying the neat PVA. I'll give this PVA a good stir up now. Um, so I'm just going to coat up the next section. Uh, PVA is um, non-toxic. You actually use PVA uh, in fishing. When you're fishing for fish, they make PVA bags which you tie on the end of your hooks and cast them out and they actually uh, disperse in the water. The PVA is reversible coat. Um, right, so I'll do that. On with the next one. 
So a neat contract emulsion next. Now I'm going to add some water to this and then coat up this next section. Now you've got to make sure you have plenty of water. It's got to be a mist coat when it goes on. So it's literally, you can see through it. Diluted contract emulsion. next one is wallpaper paste. Wallpaper paste. Got some mixed up in a bucket here. And then finally, bin primer. Now, bin primer, it's fantastic stuff. It's got loads of really good properties about it. One of the best ones is it dries really fast. Um, I always keep my brush in this container with a little bit of methylated spirits at the bottom. It's, you just take it out, give it a wipe on the side, and it's ready to use. Nice. Now this stuff, you've got to make sure you give it a really good stir up before using it. Because it's got a lot of sediment that sits on the bottom. And unless you stir it up, you're not going to get the correct properties of it. I'm just going to cut that out there. You've got to be really quick with this stuff because it dries that quick that just a couple of passes like that are usually enough and just let it sit back because if you play with it too much, it dries in ridges really quickly. Now we'll move on to the drywall plasterboard while this is drying. This board is what I use to do all my filling. I mix my fillers on this board. So that's undercoat plaster, finished plaster, and polyfiller, all mixed on this board. That's why I'm treating it like a solid wall. With this plasterboard, um, you don't want to treat it like plaster unless it's actually been skimmed over with a layer of finishing plaster. If you've got a bare boards like this, water near these is the worst thing. So using PVA is not the best at all. This damage I've got here, if you're trying to sort something small out like that and you want to be quick, then you're better using bin primer. And 
what I'd do is just cut off the excess bit of paper that's come off and then straight over with the coat of bin primer. And literally within 40 minutes you're going to be able to give that a light sound down and fill it and then give it another fill after that's dried light sand down and then you'll be able to give it another coat of bin primer and then continue with whatever you was doing now if I was sealing a lot of these boards I wouldn't use bin primer I would use an oil undercoat to seal it and to make it waterproof at the same time especially if you paper in on top because you paper might stick for the first time and it'll be okay but when you come to peel that paper off it will rip all the paper off like that with the paper you're taking off unless you've sealed it first so it's waterproof because it's the actual water in the paste that makes everything start coming off if it's sealed then paper it on, you don't have a problem. So, like I say, once these are dry, we'll come back to those. So all these are dry now, but before I show you them, let's just turn back to this drywall. The bin primer is dried off, so what you do then, give it a light sand, P180, And then you can apply your filler, allow that to dry, another light sand, apply another layer of filler, allow that to dry, another light sand, and then you can give it another coat of thin primer, and then you can carry on with your project. Now turning back to this board, I'll just give you a closer look at these. So starting with a neat PVA, let's have a look at that. Now you can see how shiny that is on the surface. If we get a closer look, can the camera pick that up? It is. Can you see how it's all crazed? Well, the moisture's been sucked out of it that fast that it's just ripped it apart on the surface. Now, having a look at the diluted PVA, there's nothing. It's disappeared, it's completely soaked in. So that's perfect, that's done its job. Now, having a look at the new contract emulsion, looks fine. Can't really tell any difference. You know, there's no problems at the minute. The mist coat, you can see how it's, uh, you can see through it. That's because it's called a mist coat. The paint is actually absorbed into the plaster. Now, the wallpaper paste, it's dried out and there's just a slight sheen to it. You can hardly see anything on the surface. So really, you wouldn't think there's anything wrong with that. And then the bin primer, that's dried out. So, they're all perfectly dry now. So what I'm going to do for the next stage, I'm going to put a coat of emulsion on across here. I'm going to use this Valspar scrubbable mat and I'm going to apply it using this roller. Using a brush sometimes doesn't pull at the surface the same as a roller will. The roller actually sucks, you know, it pulls when you're rolling over the surface. Now, usually on a large surface, it takes a long time for you to roll that area. And sometimes when you've just done a pass 
and you're going for your next dip and you're taking your time rolling the ceiling areas soak up a bit of moisture and then the paint can start coming off on you because it always takes you know a couple of minutes two or three minutes the paint so soaks in and then your next pass and it starts pulling it off so what i'll do is i'm just going to put some on this section across here leave it for a few minutes and then go over it again a little bit of the plaster off the board there so I'm going to leave that for a couple of minutes and then go over it again so I've left that for a minute or two I'm going to go over it again and see what happens straight away there you can see the paste is coming off nothing there nothing on that actually Nothing there, and nothing on the knee PVA. So out of all three of them, out of the lot of them, the paste at the minute is the only one that's coming off. Now, what I'm going to do is allow those to dry now. Um, and then we'll do the scratch test on them to see how well they're adhered to the plaster. Now, what I'll show you later is how to solve some of the issues, especially the paste one, because wallpaper paste is the worst. All the others can sometimes work. As you've seen there, that is neat contract emulsion on plaster and it's still not come off although I don't think that is a hundred percent stuck down adhered to the plaster let's just take a look now neat PVA now that has that's a nightmare not good diluted PVA Oh, completely different. All right. New contracts. No, sorry, the neat contract emulsion. That's okay. The mist coat. That's okay. Wallpaper paste. Oh, not so good at all. And then the bin primer. That's perfectly okay. So next, what I'm going to do is a scratch test. Now, off the board here, where nothing has taken place, I'm going to scratch it. Now you can see straight away it comes off. Now on here. I really do have to work into that. This hasn't had over a day to dry because all paints, all materials need at least a day. Some take up to five days to cure. This has had an hour. So, you know, that's not too bad at all. Let's look at this one. This is the method I like using. Bulletproof, completely. Oh, there's little bits coming off. I mean, little bits. Given that time to cure, that will be bulletproof. Now, moving on to this next one, which is the neat contract emulsion. Again, it's pretty good, but it's beginning to come off. And then where we've miscoated it. Pretty good, but is gonna come off the paste. Well, 
Right. Now that's coming off. And then the bin primer. Again, if you really work at it, you can start getting a little bit off. But that's pretty tough, that one. So, there you go. That's why I use diluted PVA. Because it's faster, cheaper, more environmentally friendly than wasting paint as a mist coat. And it really is tough. Now, what I'll show you next is how to deal with the problem surfaces. This PVA, one, you can actually get warm soapy water and if you know it's on the wall you can work it back up and you can just rub it out And again, with the wallpaper paste, you can do exactly the same thing. Now, what I'm going to do is put another coat of emulsion across these. Now, if that is what you're left with, the best way to deal with that is to allow it to dry fully, sand it down, and then put a coat of bin primer over that, and that will cure the problem. The wallpaper paste, sometimes if it starts reacting as you're using the paint and you can see it reacting, you can actually start rubbing your paint into it where it's reacting and it should mix more with the paint and as long as you're using a scrubbable mat, it shouldn't be too bad. What I'll do first is put a coat of bin primer on this PVA where it's crazed. Now, I'll allow that to dry first before I go over it again with some emulsion. Now, where this paste is on this one, this is actually um, a scrubbable mat, so it shouldn't actually react the same on the next coat. Um, but you can, again, if you want, put a coat of bin primer over it. But I'll just put a little bit of bin primer on half of that. The bin primer is dried now. I'll go back over the surface with this roller. And then I'll leave that to dry again. So we wiped off the paste on this bit, so that shouldn't react. 
and we wiped back the PVA, the knee PVA there, so that shouldn't react. We've actually gone over this with the bin primer, so it should hold itself together this time, it shouldn't crack apart. And again over the paste there, we've actually used some bin primer, so that shouldn't react again. And we'll see what happens to this bit here. Um, sometimes, like I say, if it starts reacting and you can actually see it reacting as you're putting paint on, you can give it a scrub around and actually mix the paste into the paint and it doesn't behave the same once it's dried. So these are dry, let's have another look. Now, looking at the uh, wallpaper paste, you can see where I washed it off and it's not cracking, it's just a bit um, grinning at the paint there. That's all it is, the paint's grinning, but you can see where it comes down to where I didn't wash any off. Um, well, this is where the paint was over actually and I went back over it with the paint without any bin primer. This bit is where the bin primer was. So it's done its job, the bin primer. And there you can see the paint's cracked again. And where I washed it off, it's perfect. Moving over to the uh, neat PVA, you can see again where I washed it off, it's, uh, the paint's grinning because it's just a coat, it's not actually cracked or anything like that. And you can see where the bin primer is. It stopped it from cracking again, but obviously you're left with all that cracking in the first place. Um, so the best way to deal with that cracking, uh, you can try filling it and then seal it again and put some paint over it. That will actually work. But one of the quickest ways with that now would be to line your walls with uh, a thousand grade lining paper.